from a company that's been around for 70 years cutting hard steels. That's a testimonial that really sits with me and I hope it does with you as well. Hello and welcome back to MTD CNC. We do appreciate you tuning in. I hope you like this channel as much as we love sharing technology with you. As you can see, I'm with my buddy Luke today and we're standing in front of a robo drill. Now, a lot of us still have the misconceptions out there that 30 taper machines are meant only for light cuts. Except we got a good testimonial here today with my buddy Luke who has dominated this robo drill in hard materials here at LNZ. So Luke, Let's talk about what you've been able to accomplish on this robo drill. Well, this robo drill has been great for us. Um, we cut a lot of hard material here. We cut a lot of soft material. Um, but with the hard material and with the tricoidal milling that we have, um, the benefit with this machine is a 24,000 RPM and that dual contact with the 30 taper. Um, it allows us to keep the rigidity of the spindle there and take some pretty decent cuts. But um, with this high speed and the high speed milling and when we go with that rapid rate and that light cut, we're able to remove material in no time. Um, so, and we're getting great finishes. Yeah, and I, I know that you're, you know, I've seen some of the work you've been doing here and we'll show some of that of course, but I mean, wow, we think, okay, 30 taper machine, I can't usually cut hard material, but then we go, well, what if we reduce the cuts a little bit, ramp up the speed and see what happens? I know personally, cycle times drop, tool life increases, and then that big plus spindle that's in there for the dual contact allows that 30 taper spindle to really kind of get into that harder material like a 40 taper machine would do. And you have a lot of 40 taper machines here, so you would be very familiar with transitioning from a 40 taper to a 30 taper. Was that a cautious move, or did you go right into it believing it would work? We kind of jumped right in. I mean, we had uh, a lot of, I actually saw this machine up at Methods in Boston, I said, wow, that's a really neat machine. It does some great work. Look at it wrapping all around in there. I said, it's only cutting aluminum. Um, but then when I was talking to the uh, service tech up there, I said, well, what else could you put in? He said, no, you can cut steel in here, no problem. We brought it back here, I believe what he said, and uh, we went right into our cutting mode and it took off running. It's been a great machine for us. And let's talk about the finishes a little bit now, because you've showed me some pieces that are gorgeous. I mean. I could see my face in it. It was shining so much. Do you find that the tolerances, the accuracy, the precision all come along with that speed as well? Oh, absolutely. We're able to, with those light cuts, I mean, you take a smaller pick, so you get that better finish. Um, so you're getting a really nice shine to it afterwards. Um, the tool life, like you said, it lasts a lot longer. Um, so it's, it's really working out. Let's dive a little bit more because that was going to be my next question. Just getting to know you, it's great to know you're a mind reader as well. I guess third generation at LNZ teaches that a little bit, right? So let's talk about the tool life. It's increased quite a bit by doing the style of lighter, faster cuts because a lot of the small diameter tools require that higher RPM, which the robo drill uh, also has, right? Exactly. And we have our uh, measuring system in there. So we're able to figure out what that run out is on the tool. Um, and make sure we're compensating with our software package. So we'll put the actual diameter that it's running at and it helps us instead of us digging into that part more, um, it's taking the actual amount that it's supposed to. So that helps increase the tool life. You are a third generation company, seven, around 70 years I believe you've been around and focused on molds here in the US. One of the last mold companies here in Jersey. Now, when I think of molds, typically I think of hard materials, even though I know you're running a ton of graphite and electrodes and everything like, like that as I walk around here, it's multiple materials. I see brass and aluminum as well, but I think of hard steel. So you came into an industry as a young man knowing how to machine hard materials. So the reason I made that long sentence is because the audience right now that's watching is looking at you standing in front of a robo drill, looking at you as an expert in the mold industry and going, wait, You've machined your entire career with 30, with 40 and 50 taper machines and you decided to try out a 30 taper machine working with the amazing people at Maruka to make sure that you were supported. When you jumped into it, if you're gonna convey a message to the audience watching right now to say, look, this machine is doing it, this machine is cutting, what would you say to them about your experience, your personal experience with this robo drill? Oh, absolutely. I mean, actually it's a lot of fun cutting on this machine. Um, because you have that opportunity to try new things. Um, jumping into a 30 taper from a 40 taper, even a 50 taper, um, you get that opportunity to say, all right, let me try this out where I can 
run a faster cutter and I can see if I can get this part done in a faster amount of time, but still get that nice finish on there. And going into this machine, it allowed us to do it. So going from those machines to this machine, nothing against a 40 or 50 taper, but you do have some other options now that you can, uh, you can take advantage of. Well, Luke, I do appreciate you conveying all of this to the audience. For those of you watching, maybe not specific time savings, but we know what's happening when we increase our overall cycle times, when we increase the overall tool life, when we can speed everything up and we're doing it in harder materials as well. Remember that. Don't think 30 taper is just for the softer materials. We are cutting hard steel right here, right now, up to 24,000 RPM from a company that's been around for 70 years cutting hard steels. That's a testimonial that really sits with me and I hope it does with you as well. Luke, for anyone who wants to find out more about LNZ, what's a website, what's your socials, what's your home address, your personal cell number, absolutely social security number to go along with it. Joking aside, where can we find you? Well, if you'd like to reach out or learn more about us, uh, you can find us on the web at www.lztool.com. Simple as that, my friends. Look them up. Really a great company. Again, American-made products here in Jersey. Third generation and one of the few mold-making companies here in Jersey as well, or really across the U.S. So with that being said, we wish you all the continued success, Luke. Look them up. We do look forward to seeing you again on the next show for MTD.